Yeah, the story of first date is about a couple on a first date at a restaurant, and as they are trying to get to know each other, all of their past baggage and skeletons in the closet come to life on stage around them. This song actually uh, happens very early on in the show. It's the first time where our two polar opposite daters, Aaron and Casey, meet for the first time. They're kind of checking each other out, sussing out the situation, and, and noticing various qualities about each other. Alan will be singing Aaron, and I'll be singing the, the female part of Casey, which is a lot like how we do our demos. So if you listen to our demos, it's us singing love songs together, which works in a whole other way. But it, 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 for this, it is a guy and a girl singing, but we'll be doing both parts. A lot, a lot of awkward ballads. A lot yeah. of awkward ballads. And I won't be singing anything because nobody wants to see or hear that. So I'll just go that Although way. Although he does a mean Miss Saigon. It's amazing. We'll do it <laughs> <laughs> Some falsettos, perhaps. She's a little artsy. She's hip and cool. She's just like all those girls that ignored me all through school. She's kind of indie and pretty hot. She's a lot like all the things that I am not. So it's very theatrical and it's kind of all about the baggage that we bring into the dating world today and can we ever silence that baggage and get rid of it so the two people can just sort of get to know each other. But that's just a first impression. I could be totally wrong. It's only a first impression. And maybe she's a stuffy and conservative, way uptight girl who's still a virgin, never goes past second base, suppressing every single urge until she marches down the aisle and finally ties the knot. She could want a giant family. So whether it's, you know, exes or friends or long dead ancestors, all the thoughts that come to haunt us as we're getting to know somebody all have their own musical voices. He's a bit annoying. Stressed. So you're watching two things happening simultaneously. You're watching the people on their normal date getting to know each uh, other. Basically in real time. And then suddenly what's going on inside their heads that burst to life in you know, musical numbers of various sizes. But that's just a first impression. Inhibited, ferocious tiger in the sack who drives a Harley, hits the gym, and makes his money dealing crap. You know, they say write what you know, and as we collectively got together and started talking about what do we know, it turned out that what we know is that we're not such great daters. <laughs> this, this show is therapy for us. <laughs> Sometimes the ones who seem great are a nightmare to date. The way I've been burned, but the one thing I've learned is oftentimes first impressions are worth a second glance.